Happy Tuesday, everybody. You're watching Five Girls, Five Minutes. I'm Tara. It's Tuesday, October 11th, and I'm probably going to regret writing on my hand like I did because I used Sharpie, which was stupid. Vigorous hand washing is going to happen. This is my hand washing dance. Anyway, whatever. It's Tuesday. I'm having a pretty good Tuesday. I'm um, glad to see videos this week. Glad to have caught up on all the videos I missed. Questions to have to answer. Lots of exciting things to do. I don't know where this energy is coming from. Maybe it's because I had some coffee not too long ago. I have no idea. I don't really know. Anyways, hat. How do you like the hat? Hat. It's stripy. It's very exciting. I actually have a scarf that matches it, although I bought them separately. I found this one at a thrift store. The scarf I actually got it at a store or whatever. You guys don't really care. Uh, questions to answer. One of the questions was about what do you do? Or I think it's us. This where um, what do you do when you're sad? Like how do you react? How do you cope? How do you deal with it? Or whatever. Um, Sarah said something. She mentioned not dwelling on things because dwelling doesn't ever help. And I kind of tend to disagree with that. I kind of feel that a certain amount of dwelling is a good thing. Um, as long as you know when to knock it off, when it's when there's a point where it's just not constructive anymore, when it's more debilitating than not. Um, that's really the important part. And I, have again, forgot to set my timer, so I'm going to really just kind of try to wing this. Um, let's just whip around the camera and take a little look and see how long I've been uh, doing for. I have absolutely no idea. There's my John Green poster and Vampire Weekend ticket stub and a little wax dinosaur. Anyway, getting back on track here. Um, I think it's okay to dwell for a little while. Um, I think that you just have to know yourself and know when you've had enough time to assess the situation and decide how you're going to work your way out of it, which I think is also important. Um, one of my roommates, which long before she was my roommate, we were friends, and she once said that you know, everybody kind of has this inclination where when you're in a bad mood, you want to listen to music or whatever that's not happy. Like, you want to listen to music that'll keep you in that funk, and you just want to ride that funk as far as it'll go on that funky train. I kind of tend to feel like, and but she said to me, she's like, you know what, when you're upset, just don't listen to that stuff. Don't watch movies that are going to make you depressed. Don't listen to songs that you know are going to make you cry. Do something else listen to something else. And so I kind of tried to do that. I kind of tried to listen to up uplifting music or read a book or distract myself or watch some TV that I really like. Lately I've been watching Pushing Daisies when I am having a bad day and I just really want to, you know, surround myself with something really cute and adorable and funny. Um, I love that show more than you can possibly believe. So anyway, let's move on. Um, Tally was asking about reconnecting with people that have really have no idea with your lives. And my answer to that is, you know, I haven't really met any person, like, well, lately. I have been the kind of person where I like to move on from stuff. Um, I don't really have a ton of people in my life who are, I was really good friends with once that I'm not really friends with. I mean, I kind of do, but people who knew a lot of things about me and then just kind of lost touch with me. I kind of am under this in the school of thought that if you really care about somebody... Um, most of the time you keep in touch with them and you make the effort to keep in touch with each other. And so, like, in high school, people that I knew from high school, I'm Facebook friends with them, but honestly, being Facebook friends with somebody doesn't mean that you're connecting with them. Um, I read status updates and like to hear what they're doing, but I don't really care, you know, half the time. It's like, yeah, you're getting married. Yeah, you had a baby. Okay, cool. I'm in Albuquerque, not in Indiana. Whatever. It's fine. Um, I will cross, I will completely avoid running into people. That's one of the things I hate about going home for the holidays is I hate running into people that I knew when I was in high school because, I don't know, maybe it's something about me just not wanting to, um, you know, have to stack my life up against somebody else's and be judged by my accomplishments or lack thereof. That's one of the reasons why I don't think I'll ever go to a high school reunion and my 10 year high school reunion is coming up next year and I don't go that I have no interest in going no interest at all so I don't know I like to avoid awkward situations and I 
let I'm really particular about the people that I let in to my life. And so um I just don't feel like feel the need to let other people in who don't know me or don't really care. So that's sorry that was kind of wordy. Um I'm I'm totally just BSing my time right now. I'm really hoping that I get somewhere between 5 and 6 and not too over. Um Sarah was asking about weaknesses. Um I have absolutely no upper body strength. I mean, that's, I guess, that's a physical weakness. Um, emotionally, I'm a sucker for helping people. Um, I try to take on way too much, way too much more than I can handle. And oftentimes will overwhelm myself. And I have a really hard time saying no when I did, when, you know, somebody asks me if I could do just one more thing to add something else on my pile. Um, so that's like a more of an emotional one. I think I'm probably running out of time, so um, I will say this week, challenge for you guys, not a question, but a challenge. I want you to find a photograph that includes you and tell the story behind the photograph. That's what I want to do. I hope you guys are having a good week. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.